it's hot out, I sweat. Um, I've not seen Josh Hawley break a sweat yet. <laughs> That's our job between now and November. Let's see if we can make him sweat. There are people that are still trying to figure out ways to keep folks from voting. It's happening right here in Missouri. It's happening right now. We have a lawsuit that has been brought against the voter ID law. And by the way, we all know there have been no complaints of people fraudulently impersonating someone to vote in Missouri. None. But the voter ID law is designed to do something pretty insidious. It's designed to disenfranchise people who have the most difficulty navigating bureaucracies. <laughs> who have the most difficulty sometimes proving where they were born because their families weren't allowed to have their baby in a hospital because of the color of their skin. So we are going to fight this voter ID law, but I've got to leave you with this before I introduce my friend. If we do not succeed in court, there is another way we can succeed. And that is by deciding that this year is the year that all of us do that extra something to register voters, educate voters, and make sure that every single voter who shares our values has that opportunity to vote. Remember the battle days when women got charged more just because they were women? Remember when there was an age tax? Remember the days when arbitrarily all of a sudden you'd realize that you had a traumatic illness and your insurance company called you to say we're cutting you off, you reached your cap? That is what the bad old days were. And Josh Hawley is going to court to make sure that every single one of those bad things happens again. If Hillary Clinton wasn't the right person to be president then, why is she the right person to be president now? Listen, that was a tough choice. I am glad I don't have that kind of tough choice this time. Uh, this is not a hard choice, and I don't think it'll be a hard choice for America. Uh, this is a woman who is tested, who has a strong resume of accomplishments in every important job she's had. She doesn't need uh, to get briefed about the complicated world we live in. Uh, the reason this is not hard is because of who she is at this point in time in our country's history. But we're getting the chemical weapons out of Syria. She laid the groundwork for that. I mean, for, this is, in fact, a very difficult world right now, and our enemies are everywhere. And I think she established that smart power and true peace is established through allies and building those relationships. I, I think she's going to probably express a lot of confidence. Um, I think, you know, she's a good listener. And, and you might imagine that there won't be a lack of talkers in there. Are you concerned at all by the latest polls that she's recently? No, I think you're going to see the polls go back and forth depending on what's going on in the race. But, um, we, we all feel great. I, I, at the end of the day, people have to decide if they want their children listening to a president that says the things that Donald Trump says out loud. I don't think people want their children listening to that for the next four years. I think she's acknowledged that mistakes were made, but I think everybody needs to remember that dozens of law enforcement officers, professional law enforcement officers, and I've worked with the FBI, they're not liberal Democrats. They unanimously decided that no laws have been broken. But I think people need to realize that that was the outcome of that investigation. That somehow gotten lost in all of this. And I've got, I've got a Republican leader of the Senate who has decided to keep us in Washington. Um, and rather than allowing us to come back and campaign.